Hi, uh, just another quick update for the Sterling engine. I wasn't planning on doing too many more videos of this um, Sterling engine because um, I sort of come sort of come to an end of the project, um, and uh, I was almost thinking about um, starting to think about selling the engine actually, so I can move on to the next project. Um, but something important has come up, which I think is quite relevant, um, and also it impacts the next project. We've been running the steam engine this or steam <laughs> Sterling engine this weekend. Um, at a local rally, um, I, I went along with my father and my son. Um, it was a great weekend um, by all. Um, the engine ran okay to start with, but then started to um, to slow up towards the end and eventually stopped and uh, wouldn't really run very well. Um, we, we think we found the, the source of the problem, and we believe it's the seals that are the problem. So I'll, I'll just up, update you now about that. So here's the PTFE seal. It's not too tight and it doesn't change much when it gets hot. There is a bit of resistance and it's caused slight scoring on the stainless steel piston. I'm wondering whether the stainless steel piston um, actually isn't perhaps such a good idea. I mean, it's no, it's no problem as such. It's not going to wear through, um, but it's just something to note. Um, perhaps mild steel um, tubing would be a better option. Uh, mild steel does corrode, which is a problem. Um, but then that might be something, a compromise for having a, uh, a piston that, that slides more easily, perhaps. So the PT, I've only got one hand, but the PTFE does slide quite well and it doesn't get affected when it gets hot. The leather seal, on the other hand. Now I've used it before in the past on another engine and I used three in one um, oil, which is like a light lubricating oil. And that worked okay. Um, since I've fitted these seals, I've been using silicon oil. Um, I thought it would would be the Wonder oil, but um, I'm not sure if that's quite the case. Um, it's, this is quite loose now, but when it's hot, it's a different situation. This was tight as hell. It was really bound up tightly because um, I was running the engine uh, this weekend at a local rally. Um, and slowly but surely throughout the day, things just got worse and worse until the engine was unable to run. And it really binds up. See, I'm, I'm using all, all my force there to push it up. I can't move it because it's just bound up. I'll just turn the flywheel so I can get the seal off and show you what the surfaces look like. I'll just pull the pin out. one hand <laughs> so if you can see the surface it's gone really sticky it's gone really sticky it's like the silicon is mixed with um i suppose debris or something like that um perhaps it's the metal coming off here when it's being polished or something like that and it's just end, end up with a really sticky mixture like that the PTFE one, on the other hand, even though it's received some contamination from um, from the oil I've been putting through the lever side, it's it's not it's not too bad really. Um, it, it's it's almost unaffected actually. It's, it's, this PTFE is really tough stuff. Um, one thing I have noticed is there's quite a lot of surface contact as well. Um, in some places, it's up to to about 12 mil now more than one more than i can do is actually um shave a bit off of this to cut down the surface contact to hopefully reduce the friction i think the way ahead on this side is to make another set of ptfe uh um uh, donut uh, lip seals um what i'll do is i'll make the inside diameter of the donut slightly bigger um, so hopefully there's less contact, so it'll make it make it um, the same as this one once I've trimmed trimmed a bit off this one. So I've trimmed down the contact patch on the seal. So that portion there is now smaller, so there'll be less resistance pushing against the pi the piston. Uh, so that's cut down a bit, um, and I've also cut out some new um, seals as well. Um, I'm going to fit those a second as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm degreasing de the engine. 
um, using alcohol. I'm just wiping all the cylinders to remove any greasy, oily residues. So I've just started to put the um, the new PTF seals on. Um, what I've done is I've heated this up with a hot air gun and I've just pushed it down over like that. It's a bit tricky because you're trying to get the, the lip to point downwards. Um, so you have to sort of ease it over while heating it up with a hot air gun. So I've now pushed it down over the over the um, the studs. You can see you got the lip there looking downwards, so it's pointing downwards, like so. Just pull this bolt out now, and I can put the the top rings on. So there's a there's a nylon ring here. And um, that one goes over. That's more of an alignment ring to keep the, the cylinder in the center. Like so. And on top of that, I've got a metal ring. And that goes on like that. So I'll put a couple of nuts on that in a minute. So I've just loosely tightened down two of the nuts just to hold everything in place. Uh, the next thing to check is whether it will actually move, which it will. Hopefully that is uh, going to give us a seal as well. I'll just finish clamping down the rest of the nuts nuts a minute. All right, so all the nuts are tightened up and we're still nice and free here. So I'll, I'll go ahead and put the, uh, the pin back in the top link. One other thing to point out, um, this PTFE is 1.5 millimeter thick. Um, the stuff I've used on the other side is actually 2.5. So it'd be, it'd be interesting what happens with that. So there we go, all back together again. So now we've got a Sterling engine that I've hopefully run without lubricant. My next um, thing I'm interested in doing while I'm here is to clean the regenerators out because I have been using it with lubricant. Um, they can get contaminated, which reduces their effectiveness. So I'm just going to take the tops off, off, off of those a minute and check those out. So there's our regenerators. I've just took the cover off. Um, it's a bit hard to tell whether they're contaminated or not really. Um, because I've gone to the effort of taking the covers off, I'll, I'll give them a wash in, um, in thinners just to clean them out. Just to make sure they're giving their maximum performance. One thing I have noticed is all this blooming dust everywhere. It's all like that, all blooming dust. I think it's a silicon, you know. Because silicon does will dry will will create a, like a hard finish on metals when it's um when they're heated up for an extensive periods of time. Um, I think that's what that is. Um, the only other source could be the PTF seals, but I don't think I don't think it's come from there. Because I think um <clears throat> I think what's happening is it's going down inside the hot piston uh, or the hot bulb and um and cooking. And then create, creating all this all this dust. I'll, I'll give that a clean out a minute to try and get rid of the most of it. There we go. I've just washed all these out with some detergent and water. A lot of uh, brown muck came out of it. I don't know what the brown muck was. I don't know whether it was the um, the silicon that had carbonized or. Um, or perhaps rust from the engine, but it's all clean again. So that's uh, all the uh, regenerator um, stuff back in its hole again. Use to seal it, 
is this um, plumber um, flu silicon sealant. It uh, says it's heat proof up to 300 C. Um, I think the gases in the Stirling engine are roughly at 300 C. So that's what we've been using. There we go. So the um, regenerator covers are bolted back down again. So uh, the engine's all ready to test again with the PTFE seals um, and no lubrication. I'll just give it a spin over. In a minute. So it's all free. <coughs> uh, Taking note, I've got the valve open here at the bottom. And that is a connection between uh, one bank of cylinders and the other bank of cylinders. So there's no actual compression at the moment. If I close that valve. Like so. Now, there will be compression. Like so. Open it again. And now there's no compression. Well, it's quite smooth running at the moment, but we won't know for sure until we put some heat into it. 